hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am <laughs> my hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa i am a crooked v youtuber that is trying to be a long no by and today i am doing a tag video and i saw this tag on the Angelica Nykvist channel and i did love this tag her answers was so it was a, like a video full of small little story times. I did love it so so much. I will leave her video down in the description. And uh, this video, no, this tag is made by Linda from Glitter Fallout. I will of course leave her down in the description as well and her video. And this is nine questions about makeup firsts. So. I think we just hop into this and as for usual I haven't prepared because I feel like it's best for me to not prepare sometimes that is correct sometimes it's not but I think we just hop into this so question number one is what first made you interested in makeup and a little backstory to like my makeup journey i didn't start to use makeup until i was 15 16 and then i did use eyeliner like a crazy person and then it wasn't until i was 22 maybe that i started to maybe use a little bit more of blush and foundations and stuff like that and it wasn't until I was I think 23 that I started to fill in my pale pale brows so I am um, I think this is going to be a long answer we will see but what first made me interested in makeup first then when I was a teenager I was loving the aesthetic of like in sweden you call it panda pop like an emo i guess but a little bit cuter in some way shape or form and that made me really interested and i really want to like express how i felt and i could put up some pictures here maybe if you want to see it i don't know but this was the way i put on makeup when i was a teenager and i was just interested in to have this specific look but then when i became older i did start to like skincare and i followed some beauty bloggers and i did really fell in love with the thing that like create makeup looks and it wasn't until I started to fall Paulina's beauty that I was really like you can do some amazing colorful cool looks and I really was interested because I am not a creative person in that way that I cannot paint I cannot draw anything but I have some creativity in me and when I saw that you can do like these kinds of look on on yourself I started to get interested and then I think how old can I have been? 22, 23, somewhere around there and I started to experiment with some eyeshadows and darker lips so when I started to be interested in makeup like this, like doing different things, except for the black lines, I was around 22, 23. The second question, what was the first makeup you ever remember applying? And like the first, first, I had a lip gloss that I did love when I was, I think I was around eight. It was like this roller bowl lip gloss that smelled like apples and it was just like see-through. I know my mom got it for me and I loved it 
so so much every like disco at school and every like birthday party i wanted to have that on i wanted to smell it i wanted to put it on because it, it felt so cool to have like that roller bowl on my lip and i loved that smell of that lip gloss i was <laughs> so in love with that one and that is like my first makeup memory then when I was in a, the black eyeliner phase, I remember that like I sat in my room at night painting on that eyeliner and I was like, do I dare to go out with this? I had a friend that inspired me because she had the same thing and I was like, if she can do it, I can do it. So I remember just went to high school with it and I was so, maybe not high school when I was 15 16 I was so so afraid and I guess it stood out a little bit because it wasn't many that looked like that in the little town I am from but yeah I remember when I sat there in my room when I was 15 painting on the dark dark black eyeliner and was like I want to look like this I think this is cool now when I look back, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why my mom let me go like that, but I guess I'm happy that she did, but um, I don't know. Question number three is, who was the first makeup YouTuber you remember watching? And like a typical YouTube makeup YouTuber, I think it was Paulina Beauty. I know that the first YouTube channel followed was a Swedish YouTuber. Um, that is, she's kind of big in Sweden now. Now she do lifestyle and mostly vlogs. But I, f if I don't remember wrong, I think she did makeup in the beginning. And this was like maybe 10 years ago. But the most like makeup makeup it was Paulina's Beauty and I just remember I think I got membership on YouTuber 2011 maybe because I wanted to follow people and I was like how I don't want to miss their videos so how the hell what what do I have to do to like that I can follow them and then you have to make an account at youtube and it was for watching the swedish youtuber and also paulina's beauty because i i didn't want to see what they were doing i didn't want to miss out on anything question number four who was your first true makeup muse who is or your current makeup muses and my first one was linda halberg i have been following her blog for a long long time before she like before Instagram and before YouTube she has been a big inspiration for me because I always think she has looked so so cool she's really stood out to like the Swedish beauty community way back and she has really inspired me and I don't even know how many makeup products I bought because of her because she has done amazing looks and I always liked her style and everything and she has really been inspiring to me and now I think it's like a collection of people that I follow I do Betty Bean is a big inspiration for me because she does amazing cool looks I also like makeup by Anki she does amazing looks I these her looks is so colorful and everything is just it's like an explosion with color and she does some amazing amazing eye looks and big cool liners but also like Annette's makeup corner is also big inspiration for me she does also like we have a kind of similar eye shape me and Annette and she really do inspires me to try other things and she also does some amazing color combos and yeah a lot of people that I follow do inspire me inspires me 
<laughs> when it comes to makeup and also like Angelica Nyqvist and Angelica Lirmar I, I can mention a lot of people uh, I take inspiration from from everybody and nobody and also like Linda Hallberg does still inspires me a lot she still does amazing looks and she still has an amazing style question number five what was the first higher-end makeup product you bought and I bought the Urban Decay Naked 2 I think it was 2012 we Urban Decay wasn't a brand that you could buy in Sweden like at all at that time I don't think so I think you had to order it from the UK but me and my boyfriend we took a trip to London and like all I wanted was to buy the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette a lot of people that I followed like raved about it and it just looks like an amazing palette and I remember how happy I was I don't remember if it was Debenhams that I bought it at and I just we came back to the hotel room room and I opened the palette and I was so amazed I was so so afraid when on the, the flight home that the palette was going to crack so like I put it in the middle of my suitcase and like packed it in sweater after sweater and that was my first high-end purchase and only like coming home take up the palette that luckily survived the flight home and try those amazing expensive eyeshadows I was blown away I was like to my boyfriend I get why people pay this the money for this I was so in love with the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette I do I think I have decluttering it I can't like remember I can't find it but I think I did declutter it but it was my first high-end makeup purchase and I was so happy I don't know if I ever been that happy about the makeup item after that like it was like up here I was amazed question number six what was the first makeup purchase you waited for and bought the second it was released this I maybe should have thought about oh no I know it was this one or released is maybe not the correct term um, but released long story short before it was a Swedish web shop that did carry Nabla and they I think it was like two in Sweden but one of them did carry like everything from Nabla and this one it came to their shop like some days after it was released and I like emailed them and asked do you know when you will get the soul blooming i just really 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 wanted this palette and i was so happy when i got it it doesn't it it isn't a palette that i use super much and it isn't like my typical color story i don't even thought it was it back then but i was so so into this palette and I did really want it. I had tested some single shadows from Nabla before and then this one and I was like it was released. I saw it on a beauty blogger that I followed back then and I was like I want it. I want it now. So maybe this one. Other than that I, I can't remember because there has been a lot of releases that I've been hanging on the lock for, but I can't remember which one was the first. I should have looked this up, I guess. Okay, so a question number seven. What was the first time you had your makeup done by someone else and did you like it? And it was when I was 19 and... Uh, 
then you are done with done with school in Sweden but it's it's the most time that you don't have to go it but like 90% of people go to that and then one of my friends did my makeup and I did really love it she put on foundation and she did my eyeshadow and I did really like it and that was like the first time that I did have had a foundation on and yeah I did like it I don't know if it was a super good look but I, I guess it was but I did like it but now I do like to do my makeup myself I don't know I think it's maybe like three times somebody else has done my makeup not more than that I like to do my makeup myself question number eight what's the makeup product you own that should be the first one to throw out in a declutter but you just can't do it and I guess it is this one. This is a really old Urban Decay palette. It's the Urban Decay and Gwen Stefani. She did a whole collection if I'm not mistaken. I think she did lipsticks, a face palette and this one. It looks like this. Um, I have used it. Some of the shades you can really see that I have used. Uh, some of them I have not used, but I got this from my boyfriend at Christmas the year it did release I think it was like Christmas I don't know, but I got it for Christmas and I was so so happy and uh, Yeah, this is old and I haven't used it in a couple of years, but I can't throw it away for one reason because I got it from my boyfriend and also I think this was my first limited edition palette that I ever did own and I I did really really love this I was a big fan of Urban Decay because I fell in love with the Naked 2 palette I bought the Naked 3 palette I had this one so I was really into Urban Decay and my boyfriend bought me this one and I was so so happy. It was the best Christmas present ever. But it is old. It doesn't smell, it doesn't look funky, but it is really really old. I should declutter it, but I just can't. And question number 9. What is the first thing someone should know about makeup? And if you know me, you know that I don't think makeup has any rules. I think you can do whatever you want. The only thing is like, it looks better when you have a foundation that matches you. That is like the only thing. Other than that, do what the hell you ever want to. And I also think that you should know that makeup is just for fun. It's nothing serious. It's a nothing that can harm anyone. Makeup is just for fun and it's just for you to do whatever you want. And I don't think there should be... I hate when people talk about things you are supposed to do and not supposed to do. I know that there is good tips and tricks like to find the way that fits your eye the most and your face shape but other than that just have fun with makeup i think that is everything you need to know if you ever want to put on makeup just have fun with it i i guess that's all i don't know what more to say because i don't think that there is a right way and a wrong way to do makeup. There is different techniques that suit different shapes more. But if you want to do something that doesn't fit your eye shape, do it anyway. Because if you want it, just do it. And that is everything I think you should know about makeup. Do whatever you want. As long as you like it, that's enough. And yeah, 
that was all for this video i do really hope that you have liked it and don't forget to check out linda that is the creator of this tag and i just think it's so fun to talk about makeup and i think it's fun to like look back at the things that happened when you started your makeup journey like me i have done youtube for I think I did put up my first YouTube video 2014 that is so private but my English videos I started with them four years ago in 2018 and I think it's just fun to think about how I have changed since that and also like talk about I liked Urban Decay Naked 2 palette that joy for a makeup palette is like insane but I I remember how happy I was. So I thought this was a really fun tag and if you want to do it I will leave all the questions down in the description and yeah I guess that that was all. So if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!